This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of May 6, 2024. And now, the calm after the lightning storm. There is a lovely, lovely emphasis on material reality this week. Material reality stabilizing, solidifying, starting to grow into new and innovative contours. Venus, the planet that rules how we interact with each other and what we value, is in her earthly home of Taurus, where she loves creature comforts, physical experiences, sensory experiences, money you can take to the bank. She's in no rush, and largely neither are we, although Mars, her counterpart, the masculine drive, is in his home base of Aries, very gung-ho, action-oriented, where's the fire, I'll go get it for you. But he's just running off doing his thing this week. The focus of the week is the new moon in Taurus on the 7th, the 8th in some places, at the burn site of last month's Jupiter-Uranus conjunction and with Uranus close to the new moon. We're picking up the pieces and putting them together in a new configuration. We are acting on things that have opened up to us, for us, because of the shakeups of last month. We're setting new, tangible, practical, financial, especially goals, plans, projects, intentions. This is one, one, one green thumb moment. And even if you're not somebody who grows plants, I will admit to not having a great track record with them. I challenge you, actually physically plant something as a symbol of what you are bringing into your life in this new moon and water it with the mindset that you are also nurturing the intentions, goals, projects, whatever that you're setting loose on this new moon. This week is one big formula for stability and growth. As the sun and the moon are coming together, they make an opportunity aspect to Saturn in Pisces, which offers the water, the faith, the maturity, the commitment to feed and nurture the seeds and the next phases of this new moon. Every so often, a moon event comes around that is so potent and so powerful that it's worth actually doing a little ceremony, even if you don't normally honor the cycles of the moon. What shook up in your life? What have you been freed from? How have you been awakened? What can you do with this? How can you now build something new and innovative in your life? How can you capitalize on how you've been freed, on how you've been awakened? This is the time to plant those notions and to take action to encourage them to grow and grow and grow. Although Venus is hosting the party this week, it's unlikely that we will spend it lounging. We'll be getting our hands actually dirty, figuratively, metaphorically, working the ground, planting seeds, working towards new goals. Mars in Aries will keep the energy high And probably right after the new moon, there will be something bugging you, nagging you, something you hear, something you think about, a conversation that startles you, and you'll take that information and find a way to funnel it into the new moon's potentials. Hey, building, stabilizing, not tearing down, not getting whacked upside the head. 
This week has been a long time coming. Please take advantage of it. Homing thought of the week. How can I build on this? Song of the week. I have two homegrown tomatoes by Guy Clark and a daisy in the concrete by the eels. And the image of the week is time-lapse photography of a bunch of seeds breaking open, shooting down roots, sprouting, and blossoming into lush green plants. You'll learn more about this in my forecast for the Taurus new moon and the month of May, both of which are already up at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can book a session with me and sign up for my mailing list and get a Jupiter in Gemini quick reference guide as a download. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years experience. I have lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I host the show Celestial Compass on Ohm Times Radio and TV on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. And this week, my guest is Gina Piccolo. I announced her last week. Jump the gun. Gina Piccolo and I will be talking about Chiron in Aries and particularly what it has meant in the history of the United States. I also host Lively Conversation on Facebook on the page Empowerment Unlimited and in the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I post on Instagram and threads at at K.A. Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you next week.